Let's see how we can get thumbnails for documents in SharePoint. This is SharePoint site and here I have one Word document and, and because there are thumbnails and as we can see here on the on the right we can we can see the thumbnail and the, in case we might want to use that in a custom application there is a graph API that we can use and retrieve that thumbnail. So this is how it works. Um, I already executed the call here against the API. Uh, and I, I can have I have a nice picture here, which is uh, the document itself. But let's see how the URL looks and how we can use that in a custom application. So. Uh, 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 this is SharePoint. So that's my SharePoint site, but I'm calling API v2, which is the Microsoft APIs specific to SharePoint here, but I can call them directly from SharePoint, not having to call Microsoft Graph. And we have SharePoint, and then we have the document server relative URL here. So the document is in the CFO site under the shared documents library and here is the document uh, name itself. Then later on we are calling the thumbnails API from the graph which is at that uh, endpoint and we are getting the first thumbnail and then this is how we can control the size of the thumbnail. I specified small here but I want uh, I can use a large or medium to get a uh, different sizes if I want to be really precise and and have a, um, a just a s pixel perfect size we can use C and specify a number here which is our width in pixels and we can have X which is our height here and because I'm interested only in the width I'll specify a larger number or let the API resize that for me but to get that more precise sizing or a bigger size, we have to um, remove the prefer no redirect to. That will redirect us to a different URL, but it will give us a bigger size. So if I zoom out, we'll see that the size is 1000 pixels now, what I specified. This is how you can retrieve uh, uh, document thumbnails, smalls or big ones. And we can use the graph itself to do that the same way. Put the call and what we add to the call URL here is slightly different. So it will be a get call against Microsoft Graph and this is the URL. When we run the query in the response, we will get that very same URL that we've been redirected to. So it's URL and if I copy that, I'm supposed to see the same document thumbnail. There you go. So let's have a look at how I've called that through the graph. I copy pasted that URL already somewhere that I can increase the size of it. Um, and we're calling Microsoft Graph V1. We're using the size API. Then this is our SharePoint domain. SharePoint online domain. And then it's the site, which is a CFO site. And then it's the shared documents library. It's a bit tricky because we need to know the idea of the shared documents library. And then we look for in into the items for our document. And our document is with ID one. So I'll, again a little bit tricky how to get that, but it requires ID and the rest is the same as what I've already showed you it's the thumbnails API of Microsoft Graph and we can use different sizes here 